Hello everybody, Grace Steel Plays, and we're back with more RimWorld Psycho Edition. No time for BS. So, we, man, the, the amount of iguanas that we have over here is getting out of control. I may have to have these iguanas, like, come over by our strawberry plants or something. I don't know. There's so many iguanas over here. I just don't know what I want to do with them all. We can go over to our production area and maybe, like, turn this area into a hay area as well. The big issue is that I haven't had any trade ships come along that will buy these guys. Jesus. We've got to get them bought, though, because there's just so many. There's no reason to have this many iguanas. And I don't even need to kill this many of them. We got, we got one over here that's downed right now. I assume from malnutrition. Yeah, you can see right here. A lot of them are having extreme malnutrition problems. We could make some, we could make some kibble, but it's just not worth it. We need some, some guys to come in here so that we can destroy them and use their human meat for our kibble supply. I can't believe that we haven't been attacked anytime soon here. Where were all you guys going? That was odd. Just a bunch of people like left the colony and then came back. I don't really know why. That nah, whatever. Anyhow, we do have a couple of mortars here that are prepared. We also have the ability to make uh, bionics, which we have done. And then over at our machining table, I don't know what kind of things I want to do. We're getting a lot of we're getting a lot of research done. We actually have a lot of research done. I think right now we're working on heavy weapons. Yes, heavy weapons. That should be pretty neat. I'm really looking forward to that. Let's go over to the production. And the reason why... Okay, yeah, here's why. I knew with the coming of the new... with Of the mod that we have, there would be some additional benches that we could make. You can see right over here, there's a weapons assembly bench. And I think that that's going to have some new items for us to make. I need to start breaking some of this crap down. Because we don't need some of the duplicates here, like how we had this duplicate electric stove. There's just no reason for that. I'm going to go ahead and break that down. We'll put one of uh, the, yes, the weapon assembly table there. I think that should be fine. There we go. Iris is coming on down to do that. We're getting a lot of tile done, which is good too. This is good for multiple reasons. One, it's just going to make the overall appearance of our base look a lot better. But it's also going to make these rooms have more beauty to them, which is good as well. Everyone's going to get a little bit of constructing in while we do this. We managed to get one component back, which isn't that bad. Let's go back over here to the weapons assembly table. I don't know how many components. Eh, five components. That's fine. We're going to go and get that built. And we need to think about getting some more steel, as usual. Uh, we do have steel over here that can be got. Oh, this is random. There is a bunch of steel laying over here that was not able to be obtained. I don't know why that is. Maybe that's way back when we first started the game. Not 100% sure. Oh, by the way, okay. So again, I have to mention this every once in a while because I can't believe that there is still no damn creatures on this map. Again, I haven't seen any responses in the comment section or anything. Does anyone know why there would be no animals at all on this map? Is it because we have so many iguanas? Is that, is that why? I don't know. I can't figure it out. No clue. But all I know is that this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is totally ridiculous. That there's that there's so few people. Uh, let's see here. I do want someone. I do want someone working on this weapons assembly bench. Everyone is building. I'm gonna get her to do this. I was gonna say everyone's building the tile, which I don't have a problem with. What I'm thinking about doing, well, not just what I'm thinking about doing, what I'm going to do is I am going to expand our kill box and I'm going to expand it, I'm pretty sure, three tiles out in both directions. So this is going to do a couple things. One, our turrets, although they do have a decent line of sight, it's going to improve their line of sight to anyone who comes into the little area here, but it's also going to enable us to have not only gun complexes, but rocket complexes as well. So, when they're done doing all this, in fact, I'm going to speed this up. When they're done doing all this, I'm going to get that done. And how is our hay grass growing? Eh, 92% grown. Minor risk break for Diaz. 
I'm guessing because she was working on the weapons assembly table. Let's go take a look at this at this table real quick. Now there's a lot of new things right here that we have. Look at all this crap. Frag grenades. The honey badger. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Um, now there, I know what there's a few here for sure that I wanted to make. I'm just trying to remember exactly what they are. We do, I do want to get some new weapons for everyone. Like, I'm pretty sure that, let me see here. Let me look again at this. I seem to remember a few of these being better than others. I think that the Scar was really good. I think that the Fomus was really good. I'm gonna have to take a look just to double check at which one of these is the best. Um, what I, what I want, here, here's the type of weapon that I want. The one thing that when you're making yourself weapons, you really need to think about like what you're trying to do for the game. So we we have a kill box. So people are going to come in in roughly, I would say like a 20, a 20, uh, square distance. So I'm going to want weapons that sh fire very quickly and shoot a lot of rapid bullets. And they don't need to be super long range. We can give up some range for more speed and more, uh, just more bullets in general. I think that Juliet is finishing up. Oh, wow. There was, oh, that's right. I deconstructed those walls over there. Ooh, combat supplier. Trade ship is passing by. Um, I don't know if this is going to get us anything good, but I will certainly go and check with the combat supplier. Let's see what we can sell here. Um, I don't, I still don't want to sell any of our artillery, our, <laughs> our artillery shells. I thought I have a, such a problem saying that word. I am a little impressed at how much the smoke leaf joints are worth. Uh, I, it really depends on who you sell it to. If you, if you sell smoke leaf to a, what is it called? A bulk supplies dealer. You don't get very much money at all for them. We can sell this club because that's no, there's no use for that for us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sell this military shovel. We'll sell this machete as well. Uh, this, I didn't even know we had a silver club. This, this we're going to have to smelt down because that's going to be worth quite a bit. We have two plasteel knives apparently. That's great, but I'm going to go ahead and sell those. Because, well, I mean, I guess I could, mul I guess I could melt them down, but I'm not super worried about it right now. Uh, we can go ahead and sell this survival bow, because we just don't need it. And then the armor vests and human leather pants. We'll go ahead and keep all that. Little helmet there. Yeah, we still can't sell any of these friggin' iguanas, though. Alright. So, there we go. Got a little bit more money for the colony, which is gonna help out. More components over here, too. I think I'm gonna get those sold. Ooh, we just got some cargo pods. Let's go find out what those are if I can actually click on it. Hey, uh, marble blocks. Um, okay, that's fine. I mean, it's building material, I guess. So, while everyone's sleeping, let's get this stuff done. We are going to, what is all this? Limestone? What kind of blocks do we have the most of? We don't have very many blocks at all right now. Slate. Oh, crap. What is this? A group of tribes people. Whoa! That is actually a decent amount of tribes people. Okay. So, time to get stuff ready here. Um, we're going to start waking everyone up to man the guns, so to speak. Uh, we're going to get him over there. Sparkles, if you would. Man this gun complex. And then we're going to have our two big ol' snipers set up in positions uh we're gonna put where do i want to put you to i'll probably put pete right here and then lumi right here and then we'll get derpy duck over there top notch king over here and let me think would i have enough time to maybe get a couple of mortar shots out we might you know what let's give it a shot Diaz will be manning the mortar just for a little bit. And Juliet, let's see here. I don't think that she can man mortars. I think that she has an issue with that. Let me double check. Yeah, she's incapable of violence. Um, That's fine, though. We'll use Iris. She should do well. I might, I might actually want to use Iris for if anyone breaks through. 
Mm, you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to put Iris down here. And... Let me think here. Sparkles is operating. Operating. She's going to be moving. And then everyone else is going to be all set up. All right. We're going to do this for right now. Let's get everything set up here. Get everyone moving into position. We'll probably be able to get maybe one mortar shot off. That's my hope anyway. Here we go. There's our one shot. Let's see how lucky it is. Come on, big money. Nice shot right there. That was a good shot to that mortar. Let's go move her over here because I think that that'll get the mortar operating right away. Here we go. The shell is loaded. She should be firing. Oh, I don't want her firing over there though. Let's um let's target this individual. There we go. We can see it right now starting to load up with a shot right down range. That was a decent hit. No one really got taken out, but um that's fine. We're going to get her set up. You jerkwad. Attacking my freaking cooler, huh? Okay, good. I was just making sure that she could repair that cooler from the inside. We shouldn't have a lot of problems here taking these jamokes out. Look at all those. Look at that firepower coming down range. Oh, there is no chance. There is no chance. Excellent. Everyone is starting to flee. And with the fleeing of the tribes, people... Let's get Iris in on this. Let's see here. Everyone should be stopping with the, the fiery fire. Oh, wow. We got a lot of people still alive, folks. A lot of people still alive. Um, Let me think here. Now, Iris, you can go ahead and stop that. All right. So that was the combat. The, oh, my God. These freaking... These turrets are amazing, and I can't wait until I expand our area and we add these rocket complexes. Oh, it's going to be so sweet. We have a lot of people down, and this is going to immediately help us with our issue uh, with all of our iguanas. Because we're going to be able to make kibble big time. So... Let's get this started. The other thing that we have is we have a lot of people that we can take some organs from. The only issue is that everyone's going to be really pissed off that we're going to be taking organs. Like if we go to, we have quite a few people that don't have, that don't have bloodlust and such. Uh, let me see here. Sparkles. Uh, Diaz is going to be all pissed off at it. Everyone else should be pretty decently okay with it. Yeah. We can probably... We can probably harvest a lot of organs. We'll grab all these. Um, all these as well. We'll be selling all this crap. A lot of bows and great bows here and things of that nature. What is this? Oh, it's a karambit. That's fine. We can grab that as well. One more bow down here. Okay. So, first things first. Let's, uh, let's grab everyone. Take them off of draft. Diaz, you're not on draft either. Okay, good. I don't think that there's any damage to really anything around here. No. So let us utilize, we're going to want one of these, one of these beds to be a prison bed. I'll probably just make it, mm, I'll probably just make it Sparkles' bed for the moment. I mean, I could, I have another bed, I think, just laying around, don't we? Don't we have another bed laying around? I guess we don't. I don't really want to make it here because I don't want to use this entire room for just like people. Um, yeah, this will be our, this will be our prisoner bed for right now. Let's go and grab our cook, who is Pete, and let's start on the butchering. We need all those bodies to get butchered, and while we're doing this, let's go ahead, and I think we're just going to start capturing people, so let's do that. Go ahead and capture you. And I don't expect them to have really any good gear, so to speak. Now, we are going to be getting a bunch of debuffs for for butchering these people. But, I mean, that's, that's how this colony works, man. People better start getting used to it. Yeah, go ahead and grab that son of a gun. Bring him over here because it's going to be... It's going to be freaking organ time in just a moment. These mortars did, uh, did a good job. I mean, if you remember correctly, we got one dead body down here. I'm going to go ahead and take that off of 
uh, make sure that we can grab that body. And did we have one more body? I think we just injured people. I don't think, we, yeah, I think we just injured them. I don't think we ended up killing anyone. So this is really good. Pete, probably going to be making kibble. Yes, he is. Very good. Very good. I'm very happy about this. Now on top of that, silver-haired devil uh, healing this person up but rather than do that, let's go ahead and start adding some bills, uh, ripping pieces out of this person. As usual, we're going to go ahead and grab a kidney, a lung, and then the heart. And we will allow them uh, to use herbal medicine. So that's what we're going to do. Let me see here if I can get silver haired devil utilizing yeah, there we go i want operations i don't want you really healing him i want you operating on him just so we can get those organs moving along i'm gonna kind of fast forward things along right here there we go and plus silver haired devil now has his bionic arm so he is going to be slightly more skilled than normal go ahead and do some more operating if you would oh do we have a thunderstorm coming in oh it's a dry thunderstorm oh crap hopefully that doesn't end up busting anything up uh, we just lost an iguana as well, but the kibble is coming, so that's fine. Keep silver-haired devil working on the operation table here. Harvest, harvest those organs, man. Keep those organs coming. Ooh, you see that lightning right there. Are you still alive? How are you still alive? I thought I just ripped out all your stuff. A, a lung, a kidney. Oh, okay, I see why. We need to get the heart now. Don't feed them. I don't care about I don't care about her getting any food. There we go. Now we're set. Okay. So Silver Hair Devil just got done slaying that person right there. Holy crap. Now let us go ahead and capture this individual so we can begin taking their organs as well. And we are going to have a ton of organs for sale. In fact, Juliet, what are you doing? Digging at compacted steel? Um, all right, I just wanted to see if that if that one com was still around because if it was I was going to see if we could sell these organs right now Let's continue with the organ harvesting though. Yeah, you can see right here too. recruitment difficulty is 99% I don't even care about these people. I don't want them anyway. Look at this if, if they're not bloodlusty I could care less operations add the bill as usual one lung one kidney and then we will take the heart as well we're going to want um, herbal medicine for this. And then we're going to go straight into the operating. So things are mostly cleaned up here, it looks like. I think the rest of the people have died of blood loss. Yeah, they, I'm pretty sure they've died of blood loss. Uh, keep operating if you would. Now, no, no doubt Diaz is probably super pissed off. Yeah, you can see right here. Someone's organ harvested times three. Innocent prisoner died. Um, so that is going to be an issue. Silver Hair Devil is probably getting a lot of experience here medicine-wise, too. So that's kind of nice. Let's, um, go ahead and continue with the operating, though, Silver Hair. We're losing some, um, we're losing some, uh, iguanas as well. But the rest of the iguanas should be doing okay. I mean, you can see right here, they are eating. So that's fine. Major risk break for Diaz. Um, when she wakes up, I'm going to get her to have a, a joint to just kind of help her out. I think this person just died. Yeah, they did. So, in fact, a lot of our iguanas are dying. That's all right, though. I mean, what can you do? Get a little bit of uh, healing in here now and again. In fact, if we could... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, our little guy died? From malnutrition? Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, no, our little Yorkshire Terrier. Not like he was really doing anything, but that's terrible. I feel so bad. Let's, um, let me see here. I'm gonna go back over to our animal area. And I wanna, oh my god, look at this is why, I guess. Jesus. <laughs> no wonder I can't keep up with this. <laughs> Oh, there's so many animals. This is so ridiculous. Um, okay, let's um, let's go to our zone real fast. Oh, God. 
Look at how many, look at how many there are. Um, manage the areas real quick. Uh, animal area. Let me, th let me think about this here. Where is that area at? Oh, it's animal area two. Uh, it's right on top of this. So they should all be eating like eventually. Um, Diaz, I know you're feeling like crap. So do me a favor and real quick, have a smoke of the leaf, so to speak. Go ahead and put this on uh, back over here. Oh, sparkles. Jesus, I totally forgot about you. Um, this is no longer for prisoners. Sparkles, crap. I'm sorry. Um, go ahead and wake up and do whatever you want to do. Play some horseshoes or something. Top Notch King isn't feeling all that well either, sadly. Uh, who else has the major risk break? So, Sparkles, Major Risk Break. All right, we will get you... Let me think about this for a second. Let's go ahead and get you smoking some of the Smoke Leaf. Everyone's going to get involved with some Smoke Leaf in a minute here. Top Notch King, I want you set up too, right there. And we'll put this back on. There we go. Okay, good. So, they're going to be moving a little bit slower. But we've got to make sure to do this because they're... You can see their moods. If we go over to needs, see the mood is starting to pick up now because of the smoke leaf. But with all of the organ harvesting, and that's going to last for another almost seven days and disturb sleep and stuff like that, it's going to be a while. Um, now, we do have a lot of organs that we managed to harvest, so that is nice. Like, we're going to make a lot of a lot of money from all the organ harvesting that we've done. We're also going to chop up all these uh, all these iguanas as well. And you know what? That's fine. We'll get a little bit more meat. And we're going to keep the lavish meals coming. Because, ooh, pirate merchant. This might be good. Yes, this might be good. We may be able to sell a lot of the, um, a lot of the organs that we ended up getting. So let's go ahead and get rid of all this. Our hydroponics basin broke down too. I didn't even look at that. Um, it looks like it was already taken care of, so that's good. We got a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, whatchamacallits over here, herbal medicines as well. Okay, so what do we got? What do we got? We've got a couple of slaves that they're selling. I don't really care about all that. They are selling some components. They're selling some medicine as well. Um, and how do I feel about that? I may even want to buy some of this just so that we can start getting another, another hospital bed built. Ooh. Luciferum. Luciferium? I don't know. Someone also had said, and I appreciate it, that it's Yayo, not Yayo. I don't know. Has anyone, has anyone, did, did, why do, is it mentioned why it was pronounced Yayo? Or is that just how you should appropriately pronounce that word? I don't know. Um, these items here, though, big money, big money right here, guys. Kidneys, lung, and hearts. You can see we're going to get 3,600 silver just from that alone. So, very happy about that. This survival rifle, taking up space, going to get rid of it right now. And I think I'm going to get us started on maybe some powered armor. I think that's what I want to do with, uh, with the money that uh, a lot of the plasteel that we're getting right now. There's nothing else I can see here that I want to buy. I may buy some beer. Just to have it to help our moods. Um, like if I bought, if I bought, let me see here. How much do I want to buy? If I bought 20 beers, I mean, that wouldn't really cost anything barely. It's like 160. I think that that's pretty good. Let's do that. We're going to buy a little bit of beer. I, I'm not going to buy in this medicine. What I'm really looking for is I want some gold. If we can buy some gold. I would get that for sure. So let's go ahead and grab this beer. And wherever the beer landed, here it is. Wherever this beer landed, let's go ahead and start hauling this stuff. Um, haul this beer top notch, King. I want this getting over here. I'm going to forbid it. And we're going to use this to help keep our people's, um, keep our people's moods down. There we go. Put that beer down. Go ahead and forbid it. And if anyone starts getting a little risk breaky, like right here, you can see Sparkles and Diaz getting kind of risk breaky. Let's go ahead and have Sparkles take a real quick sip of beer. 
She'll go ahead and sit down at the old table here. There we go. Crack open a cold Budweiser. And if we go over to needs, she should have right here, inebriated warm. So she's got a plus eight from that alone. Excellent. Man, that's so good to see. And you can see here a lot of eggs getting fertilized right now um, and a lot of kibble being made. So that's fine. Still nothing to help these guys out when it comes to the kibble. Okay, so Diaz getting a little annoyed. Let's go ahead and have her crack open a nice beer. Oh, just got heavy weapons done, guys. Hold on. Heavy weapons coming to the colony. Can't wait for that. From here, let's take a look at all these things. I'm going to go down the... I think I'm going to continue to go down the turret line for right now. Yeah... Yeah, we're going to go down the turret line for right now. Kind of get this stuff done. I thought about the explosive IEDs. I'm not really worried about that right yet. I I don't mind IEDs. I just haven't used them. I haven't found a ton of use for them yet. There we go, Diaz. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let's take a look here. That should level out your mood a little bit. Well, not really. In fact, her mood is going down. Um, okay, since her mood is going down, I'm gonna have her, now you can, you can double up on beer, so you don't have to worry about that. Let's have her smoke a smoke leaf joint. There we go. That should help her out a little bit. There we go. Now things are getting a little bit more stabilized. Got a lot of minor risk breaks going on. So, that is something to consider. Back over to the weapon assembly table. Let's check out some of these. Oh, wow. Look at all this. Oh, yeah, baby. Grenade launcher. The saw. This is sweet. Oh, we're going to get... We're going to get some of these weapons made quick, fast, and in a hurry. In fact, I'm going to take a look real fast at what some of the stats of these weapons are. And I want to get started on one of these... At least one of these weapons and bring it to the colony. Give me a moment, guys. Okay, I decided the first thing that we're going to do is get one of these Bar M1918s done. Very cool weapon. A lot of damage. Very fast to fire, too. A burst of four. And a huge range. We don't need the range that this thing has. But I don't mind getting it getting it done. You know, get, getting it, getting something with that kind of range. Now, for the crafting, I think that Sparkles is going to be our main woman in this instance, and it is. So the big issue here is just going to be keeping everyone's risk breaks down. You can see Diaz there, kind of pissed off. Everyone going to sleep for right now. Sparkles waking up. Oh, to make the weaponry. Very interesting. Yeah, let's get her started. I think that there should be enough steel to get this thing done. There's that rocket complex too. Let's go click on this real quick. I haven't really looked at this yet. Rocket complex hit points 380. An older class of weapons that requires manual control to reload. Fortunately, with the help of decent optics, deadly weapon blast radius, this presence is still uh, dreaded on the front lines. Explodes in a radius of three when destroyed. I'm kind of curious exactly how it works. Let us, besides doing this, we're going to go ahead and uninstall this because we don't need it there right now. I'm going to start getting these walls built out too. And I think, one, two, three, I think I'm going to have this wall built out to here and then the same size on both, in, on both sides. So, all of our, uh, all of our many, many, many iguanas should be quite happy nowadays. I love the fact that these, that these things over here can be, um, which we'll call it, can be deconstruct not deconstructed, can be uninstalled because it saves so much energy. You know what else I want to do? I think I'm going to make a door down here because we don't have one. The big question, though, is how many blocks do we have? We have a couple of slate blocks, so I'll go ahead and make a real quick slate door. I want one probably just on this side. I'll just make it equal to this side. Um, identical thing. Oh, Jesus. That's why I, I put it as a wall. The reason why is so that people can, like, get out of here a little bit easier. This way they don't have to walk all the way around. So, now, this is going to take a lot of work, I do believe. Yeah, you can see right there, 2,300 work still. 
but she's going to be getting a lot of experience for it. So that's kind of cool. Diaz having a ton of issues right now. In fact, so many issues that I'm going to get her to smoke real quick. And Iris, don't want you smoking. Um, instead, I want you... Let me think about how I want to do this here. I want to forbid this. And I want to haul this back to its area. There we go. And then Diaz, after you did that, go ahead and take a quick sip of beer. There we go. And that should get her a little bit more set up when it comes to her mood. Yeah, you can see right here. Now the mood is going to start stabilizing. Um, she managed... It uh, looks like she butchered a lot of people. So that was the other issue for her really bad mood. Who else is having a critical problem? Oh, it's mostly Diaz. Diaz is having a lot of problems here. Oh, boy. Okay, well... What else could we do for her? I could have her take another sip of beer, I guess. In fact, I could probably just get her drunk, come to think of it. Oh, crap. Smoke leaf binge. Diaz is going to have a smoke leaf binge? Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Well, what can you do, right? I mean, if you got to hit the smoke leaf, you got to hit the smoke leaf. While she's doing that, just taking a real quick look at what some of the other people here are doing. I want to look at our crafting real quick as well. Uh, Juliet has some skill in crafting. Everyone else, fairly bad all around. The only reason why I ask is just because I need someone to start making some stone blocks. And I may have Juliet doing it just for now. I know that she's digging at Plasteel. But I'm going to give it a second here. And when she's done with that piece of Plasteel, there we go. I think she just got done. I'm going to have her start making some blocks. Yeah, we need her to start stone cutting. I need a lot of stone. We need a bunch more stone, actually. Diaz is no longer binging. That's excellent. So now that she's done with her binge, she should have catharsis, right? Yep. Sure does. So that's good. Uh, Top Notch King, also a bit of a problem right now. Now that he's inside, let's go get him having a quick smoke leaf joint. And then when he's done there, we'll go ahead and have him crack open a nice cold one. There we go. And the smoke leaf's helping, and now that should help as well. Yeah, okay, good. So, it does help a little bit to kind of, like, get the mood going. I may even have him have another beer. I may even have him have another beer. Yeah, go grab one more beer, Top Notch. You deserve it. Yes, grab that freaking beer. Beer is actually helping a lot. I'm hoping that the other beers that we have are getting done soon here. Let's check out now. Still just warm. Hmm. All right. Now, it could have worn off as well. I didn't think about that. How's our beer doing inside of here? Work left 12. So, something to consider. I don't know. Contains resources. Oh, it doesn't have any resources in it. Or at least it doesn't seem that way. We've got wart being made. The question is, are, is the wart not being put inside of there? Let me let me zoom way in here. We got some hops. And that looks like it. We have a lot of smoke leaf leaves. Um, but we have a lot of smoke leaf. We don't really need anything additional. Juliet, I'm going to let you get this last stone. And then I got to get you out of here so you're not just like, there we go. So you can go ahead and consume a meal and then go to sleep. I know you're probably really, really tired. We do have to butcher up the rest of these bodies as well. So that's something to consider. Oh, we got cargo pods. I didn't even think about this. Insect jelly? What in the hell? Random insect jelly just kind of like laying around. That's a little weird. Well, whatever, I guess. Um, I mean, I do kind of want to get it. So I'll send Sparkles way over there to grab it real fast. 5 o'clock in the morning right now. How much Plasteel do we have left over here? Still plenty of Plasteel over there. Very happy about that. Very happy about it. Uh, Derpy Duck, are you... You are not a psychopath. Pete is, though, as is Lumi. Lumi is a psychopath. 
Um, let's see here. Can we, can I have her butchering? She's not assigned to cooking, but that's fine. We can go ahead and just give her a four, I think. Okay, good. I was just making sure that she even has the ability to do this. So let's keep butchering. I need, we need to get rid of these bodies. Is mainly what we need to do. Oh, she's making some kibble. Um, instead of making the kibble for right now, let me think about this for a second. Let's, uh, let's change the bills here for just a minute. Let's go back over to the bills and change the priority. I'm going to change this to butcher creatures. And let's do it this way. There we go. Whoa. Oh my God. A bunch of our little dudes are on fire. <laughs> ah, extinguish the fire bed. Oh, I feel so bad about this. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna end up losing some critters here. Ugh. Put him out, Iguana 39. You were loved, but now you're dead. Get down there. There we go. Okay, good. Um, with the coming of the hay grass now, I can probably change this like this and keep the hay grass in here so that we can make stuff with the hay. For the moment. Wow! Man, that thunder and lightning, man. Holy Jesus. Still plenty of food, though. Yep, chop up the old Yorkshire Terrier. Don't need him no more. <laughs> Major risk break for sparkles. Oh, here we go. Diaz starting to make some, uh, some beer. That would be great if you went ahead and did that. Um, sparkles think about this I'm not equip a beer drink a beer go ahead and get you one of those real fast there we go now you can keep going getting plenty of uh, medical experience as well just from all of the little iguanas that have died now going over to the blocks do we have any we have some slate and we have some sandstone I really want to get granite if we can I don't think slate is bad. Uh, let me check here. Limestone. Those are all wood. Granite. Limestone. Did we use any slate? Huh. Sandstone. 490. Alright. I will probably sandstone wall this then. Limestone's a... I'm, I'm surprised at how strong limestone is. I didn't expect it to be this strong. Um, have we butchered everyone up? Yes. Everyone is butchered. Good. So that's excellent. We got a lot more hops coming in too. Let's see if we can Let me click on this real fast. Okay, good. We've got 48 or 49% here for the fermenting barrel. So that is happening. We've got 16 fertilized iguana eggs. Mother of God. So that's a lot of iguana eggs, man. Um, Sparkles, still not happy about her lot in life. Uh, not at all. Uh, 1,300 work left on the bar. Which is fine. Get that going. Let's start with the old structure over here. We're going to grab... I'm going to use sandstone for right now. We're going to bring this down. One, two, three, and then one over. Bring it right to about here. And then here. Well... Yeah, it'll be fine because I'll I'll take these down and that'll that'll kind of make that out. And then one, two, three, four. Double check here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four. Put this right over here. Bring it down here. Get those done. That's gonna give us plenty of space for some rocket complexes too. And with the coming of the rocket complexes, oh, here we this is why. Holy crap. Let me go ahead and forbid this beer. <laughs> Everyone is drinking the crap out of some beer, man. Holy cow. Got a bunch of wart done here, too. Which is pretty nice. I think we have a lot more smoke leaf leaves. Okay, good. So we're going to have all the smoke leaf we can handle. Uh, should we need it. Which is fine. And kibble-wise, eh, they'll get it taken care of. Silver Hair Devil doing a bunch of um, researching, which is still going very well. I think I'm going to clear these limestone tiles out because we're not really getting any limestone. Do we have any limestone, like, anywhere? I don't even know if we do. Let's start 
Let's start hauling all this rock out. We need to get all of this hauled if we can. Major wrist breaks going on. Sparkles and Diaz. Like I said, this is part of the... This is part of how this campaign works, though. I do have to get used to this portion. Diaz, what are you doing? You're cooking a lavish meal. Let me go check out your needs real quick. Butchering's done in three days. Uh, done in three days. Two days. Butcher's human like five days. Lavish meal catharsis is done in two hours. Ooh, that's going to be done pretty soon. Um, let's go get her a smoke real fast. Just to kind of try and level things out. Sparkles as well. I hate to do this to you because you're working on the weaponry. But I need to get your mood kind of level. There we go. Diaz making a lot more wart. Which is really sweet. Oh, come on, man. More tribes people. Oh, wow. That is a lot of tribes people. Holy crap. All right, folks. Let's, um, well, we know what to do. Let's get everyone into position as always. Pete and Lumi, go ahead and get you two set up. Let's see, how do I want you to? I'm going to have you here and here. And then, of course, we're going to have our uh, decent weapon wielders, the Derpy Duck, as well as Top Notch King up in here. Sparkles will be manning one of the gun complexes. Diaz, you can man... Where are you? How far away are you? I'm going to have you man this mortar. Silver-haired devil. Also good at manning gun complexes. Iris, you are our backup melee person. I'm going to put you... I'm going to put you over here. Just in case. Let's start getting everyone moving along here. Now, if we can get to this turret, I don't know if we're going to get there in time. The other issue is, as well, as Diaz is moving very slowly because I think I had her utilizing um, Smoke Leaf. So, you can see she is moving very, very slowly. All right, this is going to be tough. They're closing in kind of fast here. All right, everyone set up. Lumi, Sparkles, Diaz, slowly getting into position. I think I'm going to leave Diaz out of this. There we go. Got a bunch more shots coming down range here. Doing pretty good. Sparkles starting to man the turret. There we go. Turret is manned. More men down. Oh, yeah. We're doing great. Oh, Juliet. Holy but Jesus, Juliet. Run, run, run. Get out of there. Oh, Juliet. There we go. What is this over here? We've got a few people wandering around um all right juliet pete silver hair that's enough for right now i want you to stop this we're gonna see if we can take these two this guy out over here there we go take his ass out there we go excellent now that we've got some runners going on here we have two, two of our good snipers, though. I'd like to see if we can take a few more out. Let's see here. Excellent. There we go. Nice shot. Nice shot. Come on. Get those, get those snipes in. Oh, we got an alcohol binge going on. Nice shot. Another excellent shot on purple. I think is the name. Oh, from way downtown. Way to go, guys. Okay. Let us start undrafting everyone over here. Come on, Pelican. You think you can get away? All right, I guess so. All right. Everyone's undrafted. I don't think that we are going to... Man... I don't think that I'm going to go ahead and butcher the rest of these people. We've got a lot of issues going on over here. Oh, we've got a fire going on too. Ooh. Um, let's get you out of the turret. We don't need you operating this turret anymore. Lumi. Um, okay, someone is tending to this fire. Good. We need that taken care of. I imagine Iris is doing it as well, as is the Derpy Duck. Sweet. Diaz having all kinds of problems, though, with that risk break that she has. So, 
We're pr I'm probably gonna burn all these people. We still have a lot of human meat. 570 human meat, guys. There's no reason to keep going with all this human meat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a crematorium, and we're gonna cremate these bodies. And I think that'll help us regain some of our uh, moods right now so that we can stabilize the colony. Guys, I hope you're enjoying RimWorld Psycho Edition, man. We are real. We're a tough colony. We are really whipping some ass. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.